Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I show my mom how to do some research. We also show off our keyword tool. It's 100% free. If you're interested in more, click the link in the description below. And I guess I'll, I'll show that. So we did type in monogram say at the end and it said C monogram journal. We're going to click on that here already is less than a thousand. This is would be what I would consider a landing zone. So these are sponsored ads. These are not selling. So now sorry, sorry, just, sorry, just stop you right there. But so am I not going to collect the sponsored ad titles? You can to okay. help you find a landing zone. But once you're determining if it's a landing zone or not, you don't count them in the top 10 have BSR. Okay, so now I now I I did the research to find the the landing zone. You did the research to pull additional keywords to then start helping you find landing zones. Okay, so we just were getting the keywords to try to see if we have a landing zone. To well, we're using the keywords that we're finding to find landing zones. Okay, we're using the keywords we're finding to find a landing zone. Now, right now, you're you just you're clicking on to find if that landing zone is a good landing zone, right? Well, is that what we're doing? We're seeing if the results page, because we don't call it a landing zone until it passes the five-step test. Okay. All so right. this is a results page. This is a results page. Will it pass our five-step test and become a landing zone? And the only reason we call it a landing zone is because we want our shirts to, or our books to land on that page. All right, so when you're doing this research, which is trying to find if a this landing zone. landing zone is good, or a landing zone, we do not look at the sponsored ads. Mm -mm. Okay. Because they change so much and it's gonna swing our five-step test so wildly. Because okay. if there's two sponsored ads here and they both are not selling and we wanna see eight out of the top 10 have a BSR, that will throw off our results. But if we okay. come back here like 20 minutes later and the sponsored ads are not there, then it will pass because these sponsored ads are not selling. All right, so the step before you can look at the sponsored ads. Yeah, because you're just trying to pull process, keywords. Okay. See how this person has antique, aqua pattern. Mm -hmm. But see, I can see that because this is not selling and if those are the keywords that we were pulling and we started looking for C antique aqua pattern journal. That's not going to help us. It okay. might, like if we type that in and it was a landing zone, but these two were not selling, maybe they just got made and they haven't been seen yet. Well, all right, so July. that kind of skews the sponsored ads a little bit skewed. Yeah, you can disregard at this them. Point okay, and just this if part. that makes it well, just overall if that makes it a little more difficult to know. Oh, I should be looking at them. Or I shouldn't be looking at them. Or, okay, just if you see sponsored ads, just move on. Because okay. even if you're gathering keywords, it could still skew the information. But because we're putting it into a tool that will tell us like what the most used word is it kind of filters those out. Okay. But for you to keep it simple, just disregard all sponsored ads. Okay, that makes it easier. <laughs> Less confusion. So now because we skipped the two sponsored ads, now I'm looking to see it auto completed. There's mostly journals on the page. That's step two okay. of our five step test. And the next thing we're doing is, is there less than a thousand results? What we already saw it was like a hundred and something. Now the last two have to do with like, are these things actually selling? Okay. So we're looking for eight out of the top 10 have a BSR and eight at least of two of 10. them are under a million. And again, those okay. are not like law. They're just kind of Guide. guidelines. Okay. Because if you are like this, I, this is my idea. I want to still try to sell this book. And I see this one selling, this one selling, this one selling. Then all of a sudden like none are really other selling. You can still go, you know what? I want to test this. I know that there's not a lot selling here, but I still want to test this idea. Okay. Then you can test it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this one's so not really well, this 10. one's a sponsored ad and this one's a sponsored okay. ad. So go two more. So nine out of the top ten have a BSR. This passes because there were two under a million. This one and that very first one. There's a few under a million. So this technically passes, but even if it wasn't like the two under a million, and this is the idea that you already want to run with. The fact that they're selling should give you enough confidence to move forward to the next step. Okay. So this is now considered a landing zone. Okay. I would find a way to either write all these keywords down or save them somewhere. And especially if you're going to be going after these like C journals to start making another word doc and then just dumping all this information into that word doc is 
probably very beneficial to you. All right. Now this is just for the C. Okay. Yeah. And if you do it like C and then you pick two other letters and you go, hey, all these keywords are essentially the same. I do C monogram journal. D is the same thing. Like there might be some one offs where like C is more floral and B <laughs> is more football. Like those might be some small minute things, but you should have enough keywords after looking for a few of these to go, okay, I'm just going to make a bunch of journals geared towards monogram or personalized letter or whatever these additional keywords are. You just kind of blanket over all of them. Okay. And that's just the way that you're trying to do it this way. It's not something that I, we do in our system. I'm just trying to help you with this idea. Okay. Yeah. I actually think that mine did get up live. The C journal. Okay. Do you so know what landing I, zone you were targeting? C journal. And I know I C used journal those. or is there another landing put, zone? Well, see, that's, I just don't That's understand. why I said, I think you skipped that step completely. What do you mean you don't understand? Because I just explained it again I to you. No, I'm sorry. I just, well, but, oh, because in, in my title, I just put C. I didn't put any of those other words. Yeah, but you put them in your back end. I did. Yeah. So you, you still have a target in mind. Okay. So this would now be your tiger target is the C monogram journal. So you can use C as your title. It was actually monogram journal C was the landing zone with 166 but I didn't, I just, my title said C. So title and landing zone is two different things. Okay, I'm trying to merge them together. Yeah, they're separate. Okay. We were suggesting like, uh, probably in one of the teachings that you saw, like use the landing zone as your title, mm -hmm. but you might've been watching one for like shirts. And that's what we suggest for shirts because it's just different. With books, your title has to be on your book. Correct. With shirts, Correct. the title doesn't have to be on the shirt. Okay. So you might've watched a different video and then merged all that stuff together. But yes. what I'm saying is like, the, don't, the title and the landing zone don't have to be the exact same thing. Okay. It's more beneficial, just like that other person that had C and then monogram journal as their full thing, the um, bird, uh, not bird catcher, um, dream catcher one. See the C monogram journal, but C, and this is an assumption, the dot dot, sometimes people are putting it in, sometimes it's Amazon putting it in. My assumption is because it's C dot dot and that's what's on the cover, C is their title and then monogram journal is their subtitle on the what's on the spine no, no. the subtitle oh, is just subtitle. for creating the listing. oh when you're doing the listing okay that's why i said like, i think you're just trying to merge all of this stuff yes. together yeah keep right. the hands on the wheel don't worry about what's in the trunk <laughs> just like the landing zone is the first part let's find a landing zone okay and it's just the landing zone is where we want our book to show up okay so now however we create the listing that's going to take testing to find out what works best to show up where we want to show up that's why I say like, okay. maybe C is the title. Maybe C monogram journal is the title. Maybe C is the title and monogram journal is the subtitle. Maybe there's different keywords that you can put in the back to help you get here. But once you kind of figure that out, then you can go, oh, a lot of C journal ideas can use this type of keywords in the back and title. Okay. So I can make other journals with just the C on it with yeah. different pictures and things like yeah, that. Yeah, so this okay. guy has the dream catcher. This guy has some ziggity zag lines. There's ones with flowers on it. All of these, most of these are titled. See, this is this title of this is C journal because you can see C journal right here. This title is again C, but then their subtitle is this monogram initial note journal with beautiful wildflowers and pink cover. So maybe the sub title is more important in this because c is the only thing that they want on the actual cover okay that's why i say like each landing zone is different you kind of have to be able to read the landing zone and then make listings to target that landing zone okay so if i wanted to do the whole alphabet each letter would be is like a different product almost right well to me every landing zone that i go after requires a different research not even different yeah. research but just a different way of doing the actual listing okay but once you kind of dial it in, then you know, oh, customers are searching all of this stuff the same. Or you might find out like, oh, all these customers are searching all this stuff wildly different. Okay. C is more geared towards women and they like flowers. B is more geared towards men and they like football and sports or basketball. Like, You'll be able to see that. But some okay. people that are searching it are going to search the same way they search C as B. The covers might just need to be a little bit different, like the actual visuals on it. 
Okay. But you might say like, oh, whatever the letter is, monogrammed journal are definitely the keywords that I need in my back end to help my book get listing listed okay. and showing up in front of those customers, irregardless okay. of what those customers like in their individual A, B, C, D, whatever their journal they're going to buy buying with that cover on it. And like I said, when I opened some of these up, it showed the um, other listings down bottom. So you can see this person is doing C, A, M, and they're just all the same color with a different uh, letter on it. And they're most of these titles are the same and they're doing eight by five by 11. That's why I said like once you once you start making some listings and seeing what's working, then you can do a little bit more research and do more in depth of like, how could I do this on a wider scale? But for me to show you, I'm just trying to show you how to take idea, mm -hmm. pull keywords, find landing zone, then after you find landing zone, how to pull keywords again to be able to make the listing. Okay. There's a way to scale that, but let's just start with like your process. You need key seed keywords to find landing zones. Then once you find the landing zone, something that is a results page that passes our five-step test. Okay. Then you find, I'm gonna almost ask you now. No, keep going, <laughs> keep going. All right, you have an idea, have you an find idea. seed keywords. Find the seed keywords. Then you find the landing zone. After you find the landing zone, then you pull keywords to then use in your listing. Okay. So there's two keyword steps, just one main research way. Okay. Because the only thing you're really researching for is a landing zone. Once you find the landing zone, everything gets easier. Because okay. then you just, you know, Amazon is saying people are going here and this is what they're looking for. Like Amazon is helping you. Now okay. you just need to go back and then do the same thing we did is pull the titles. And you can even probably pull a little bit of the description to start helping you make the listing. But I would pull them slightly separately. So... I, we have this. And this is kind of a messy way to do it, but I'm just trying to go the next step now. Now that you found a landing zone, we're going to do very a very similar thing. We're going to go back and be not the sponsored ads, but the ones that are selling well, we're gonna again open these up. Just... So this one's selling well, I wanna open that one up. This one's not selling, so I don't really wanna open that one up. This one is selling, this one is selling. This one is, I mean, it's selling, but this is a little like extravagant. Anything that's like too crazy that I don't think I would be able, that's not true. I open all this stuff up. Nathaniel's the one that goes back through and like determines if it's something that we want to use or not. This one I'm not because it's a sponsored ad. This one I'm not because it's a sponsored ad. This one I'm going to open. This one. A lot of these are the same, but the fact that we found a landing zone, I want to know. And that's funny. S is showing up. I want to know what um, Amazon sees in these listings and why they're showing up here. And it's the keywords that they're using so you can go deeper i'm just going to do the first page to make this a little bit quicker now that you're trying to build a listing what keywords are they using so i'm going to pull all the titles and then have a keyword list for my back end keywords and to help me create a title okay and i'm also going to be looking at their description so that i kind of know what customers when they come here and they see these listings what are good descriptions to be able to sell my book to those customers Okay. Another thing you can do is actually look inside of these and just, I'll have to ask Nathaniel when he's actually looking at the art, maybe it's better to just separate these out. So like, let's get all the keywords in the description and then make your listing on a document so that you can copy and paste it over. So when you're ready to make it and then go back and look at the art. But me, I'm just trying to put these two things together because I'm going to close out this listing. I'm just trying to mentally grab all of this information. Okay. So before I close this listing out, I'm going to say, okay, there's our flowers on here. It is just a lined journal. Okay, check. This is still something that I'm capable of doing. Right. And this is still in the wheelhouse of my idea. Okay. If I buck up to anything that's not, I might like move it over and look at it later, but then have that in mind that, oh, this might be another opportunity, or I really shouldn't be putting a lined journal here because most of the books here are not lined journals. They're logs or something else. Okay. 
So I grabbed what I wanted from this. I grabbed the title, I grabbed the description, I looked at, I saw flowers, I saw that it were lines. Okay, it's just like you're checking a box now. Yes, it's still worth moving forward with this idea because these are the books that I try to make. These are books that are showing up here where customers are looking. Check, go to the next one. And then again, I just pull all this over here. And then the mm -hmm. you can see that there's not a ton here. And it's because these are just like basic journals. Right. Nobody that's going to buy this book is making any like huge financial decision. They're just saying, okay, this is the cover. Do I like the cover? Was I able to find it? And what is it here that's here? Okay, they're just saying that's simple and elegant. It's brown, stylish, personalized, gift. This might be another thing to like take note of. You see how they say entire alphabet available? So oh, this might be another like recalling. Yeah, we call that a call to action. So oh, if somebody okay. sees this journal, like, oh, the C is awesome, but I don't want it in a C. And then they see this line and go, oh, I want it in an S. Then they'll see that. We normally have like, see where it says, please see series of letters. We would have a different call to action because if you click on the name and if you this idea is like something that you want to run with and just have all of like these under one pen name and then switch up a pen name for a different style, style. of book okay. then you can say hey click on the pen name or click not click on the pen name click on the author's name to see all of these styles it's just an easier call to action because most people that are buying on amazon kind of know where to look to get the author's name that was one of my questions for further down, should I do put that in there? Yeah, I think so. If, especially if you have a and series of books like that together. And if I did a different together. like style cover, then put a different pen, uh, name. pen name. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can have them all under the same. That's again like a test it out. Like you're just gonna have to test and see what works. All right. So I can add, after the book is live, you can add copy to it, right? Yes, you can't change the title or the subtitle. You can change the back end keywords and you can change the um, description. And pulling the title. And that's why this process is a little like just monotonous. But once you have all this, then you won't have to do it again anytime you want to make a C journal or a letter journal. Like you'll have all of this information. Okay. And that's why I said like the more you do this, you'll start to see patterns and then go, oh, I did it for C. I did it for two other letters, three other letters, and I got it. Like all of these keywords are pretty much the same. Monogram, letter, there's not anything that's really changing in here. C likes flowers, B likes balls, but that's not enough for me to like not reuse all of this other information. Okay. So that's why we say like pick a customer base first, because then when you gather all those keywords, you can keep selling to them because you have the keywords that they use to look for that stuff. Okay. You just have to add additional letters to it or keywords to it. So if you're selling to car customers, somebody like me or fishing journals, like fishing journals and fishing logs are almost the same or fishing coloring books. There's a ton of reusable keywords in that space as long as i'm still selling to the same customer i see okay so these monogram journals are a little odd because there's i don't know the customers necessarily behind that but if you have an idea this is a way to like pull those keywords but then you might find like oh i'm thinking i'm selling monogram journals but it's really like people that really like to walk and write and walk and write is a way that they search and then now, that's now the keyword phrase that I can use in all my journals that a lot of my competition is not using. Now I can come up with a million ideas and target these customers, this walk and write customer. Okay. Is that a little too deep also? Right now. Okay. <laughs> what we're doing is just pulling titles to find keywords to use in our journal because we found a landing zone. I'm just trying to like get you back on where we're at and what we're right. doing. Okay. So then for the next letter or for another letter, I do this whole process again and see that's all like separate research. I kind of was putting it all together the same. Yeah. I put all the same keywords, all the same. I mean, it might be, but you should do the research I as did. if it's separate. I so, did. and then 
then you'll know for sure, are these okay. the same keywords? Yeah, I just made that big assumption. <laughs> okay, so this is sometimes a good resource. If the person knows how to do keyword research, but just doesn't fully understand how to use the keyword research, these might be really good keywords. So this person is telling you all the research that they did and, and the way that they're putting it in into their back end. They would be putting in, and you can see they have C monogram journal, monogram journal C, C monogram notebook, monogram notebook C, C monogram notepad, monogram notepad C, and see how they're just like switching up a few of the letters. Mm -hmm. They're trying to show up on all these different landing zones, essentially. And then you can kind of see that they're gearing it more towards women. But um, notepad is maybe not a keyword that I would have thought of. Maybe we'll try, we'll probably pull it in here because we have uh, so many other keywords, but the fact that somebody is showing you their keywords is a good resource for you. So they wrote keywords in their yeah. title, in their description. Yeah. Interesting. It's still, still working. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I said like, I, I think any, I truly believe anybody could do this. Could it be done better? Yeah, it, this is not really what you want to be doing, but it's only been up from April and he's already selling and he's already got two reviews. So even if you do it bad, you can still so have sales. All right, well, just a quick question on the, um, when I put the keywords in, mm -hmm. are you supposed to put, you said you could put more than one word in that, those little spots. Do you put a comma? I did not, I didn't know how to do that. It's wildly debated. Okay. Like there, there is no, correct and, and this is why i want to have a podcast because there's i'm sure like um melissa will probably have a different viewpoint than me on this okay. and other people that do this might have a different viewpoint and i want to know like why do they think that i think what's truly happening is if you put a comma amazon every once in a while depending on how they're indexing that day or that hour or that second will see that as a keyword phrase and then index that keyword phrase for your listing. And I know you're already like, this is way too deep. So I'm no, just trying I'm to just explain I, this in a way that- Yeah, that would be a phrase. Yeah. So I didn't, I wasn't thinking it was gonna be a phrase. I just put two words next to each other. Like for instance, I put monogram and then mono, monogram with the M and monogrammed ED all on one line where it said keyword in that box with no comma, just two words next to each other. So is that, I, I didn't even like know how do you put that I don't that's such a deep topic that it's hard for me to just like answer it oh, because okay. there's what they call matrixing and Amazon's algorithm understands like things that are plural things that end in ed things that end in ing like they understand like if somebody puts in monogram they might mean monogrammed or monograms s like they index all those words together oh so is it kind of a waste of me typing that's where i like i don't have an answer oh, for that okay. because there's there's so many products and amazon is handling an influx of products differently that it might be worth typing it all out so the same thing for how we do shirts there's five main ways that people search for shirts they either add an end at the end for shirts they put a T in front for t-shirts. They put the T-E-E, -E. they put the T-E-E -E solely without shirt and it not being attached. So there's just like, which one should I put in my listing? Okay. Amazon technically can know that when you put up a shirt, especially on merch, like all of those should be indexed for your shirt. But does it mean that it actually indexes unless you put it in there? There's no true way to know that. And that's why like when we do for you, especially when we were having you batch upload a lot of that stuff, mm -hmm. and then I was tracking it, we would remember all the covers would be like extremely the same or the shirts would be like very similar. Right. We would do almost the same exact listing five to 10 times and see how Amazon handles it. Like some listings would index and some listings wouldn't index. So it was like, okay, we did the same exact thing 10 times. Why did only two of these show right. up? So that's why like, it's hard for me to answer that question. Like, should you be putting S in there? Should you okay. t just test it? Like, I don't have an answer for you, but like how this person has it, like a C in front and the C in back truly the correct answer is Amazon only needs the word one time to index. Okay. Now, with that being said, how they handle people searching and how they index your listing as far as keyword phrases is like wildly different. Because if I search 
monogram journal like this, I'll actually do it. There'll be two different amount of results. So if what I'm saying is Amazon will index your listing if you have the word in there anywhere, then when I change up how this looks, this number should stay the exact same. Okay. So anybody that has monogram journal and C in their book should also show up for monogram journal C at the end. So it was 172, now it's 174. So why if Amazon is telling me, if you have those words that index period, they're saying that as a fact, then why when I search it, just switching up the letters, are you showing me different amount of results? Okay. That's why I say like, so yeah, it's an so, unanswerable. Right. So better to put it than to not to put yeah, it just put it, in case. Put it that way, then move it with a C. And then what if we have monogram C journal? Are you the results are 170. Like it just is like, I don't have an, which way should you put it in? I don't know. If Amazon is telling me, I just need the letter in there once. Yeah. It's okay. not like, because they have so many listings, like it can't be that way. They have to be indexing things differently. Otherwise it would show up the same exact, the, the, the number would be the exact same as far as the results and the way that they show up should be the exact same. Because if you're telling me you index them the same, no matter what, no matter how I put those letters in there, if I switch them around, you should show me the same exact results, but it's not. It always is different. Okay. You see the sponsored ads are different. Like it's, they're doing something wildly different in the back end. I don't know what it is, but that's why I say just test all that stuff out. The fact that this person has it in forwards, backwards, and like, I think this is probably the best way to do it, but it's very difficult to tell you like, oh, you know what you should think about putting the C in the front and in the back. And because some of these are not working and some of these are not places that you want your book to show up anyway like maybe right. notepad isn't it notepad that he had yeah. in there? maybe notepad that word is just like a, a a not good word because none of your customers are searching it that way all right so then the testing part is i'm not even there yet i'm not there yet okay that's why i said a lot of this information is just like to help you understand what i'm trying to show you right no i get that okay. i'm just trying to just go one step at a time but then when you find something like this, like I have to stop and talk about yeah, this because no, it's like, that's, it's going to help in the future I've seen when this, I understand it more. I haven't seen it a ton, but I do see this and it's just like, okay, are doing the work and they're having some success. So then it's like a double-edged sword because if you're doing it incorrectly and you're making sales, you just keep doing it Same incorrectly way. and go, oh, it's working. So I'm going to just keep doing it this way, even though there's a better way to do it. All right. But it, he put it up and it's working. And it's probably just a basic blind journal. So that's why I said like, you can do this. It's a matter of learning and figuring out how to get your books in front of the customer and giving them what they're looking for. Right. Okay. That's just a testing mm -hmm. phase. So the fact that we found a possible landing zone place that we want to target our books, that's good. The fact that we see other people doing it poorly <laughs> is probably even better because it should give you hope. Hey, if I do this good, I can at least show up where this guy is showing up. Mm hmm now I just have to know, do the customers like this? Obviously they like flowers, do they like sunflowers, roses, daisies? Like that's all stuff that you can test in your cover. But once you have those keywords locked in, you just keep using the same keywords in the back end. You might change up the title a little bit. You might change up the description a little bit, but all that stuff is basically the same. And then you're just changing up the actual look right. of the book. All right. So again, this should give My you old school hope writing it down. because this is a very basic blue and the yellow and the gold, and it has a C on it. And then it says navy blue, alpha, whatever. But it, it's not selling great, but it has sold. Right. And the, like, there's a ton of C journals. So I, I can almost guarantee you that there's more than a hundred so. something, but just the way that they're titling them, these books are showing up like in different places. So that's why I said like, the way that we're teaching people is not a perfect system because you could actually go into a place where there's like a million other books and you'll never be able to get shown up, but you're not spending a ton of time. Like you're get one book up and see if you can find it. If you can't find it, then you go, oh, okay, there's something going on here. Maybe I need to niche down or find a different landing zone or something and then make books accordingly or it's spend time to make 10 books here with 10 different titles, a few different keywords to see if you can show up anywhere on that landing zone. And if you can't, then move on and do something different. Even if it's on like page 15 or something? Yeah, because customers, it's going to be hard for those customers to find it. So, no, so you said see if it shows up. Does that mean in the first if, page or oh, two? Oh, okay. That's yeah. So if it doesn't show up in the first page or two, then just then don't you're... make any more books for that landing zone because you're not oh. having any success there. 
even if it's like brand new, like you just, it's the first time your book was up there. If it doesn't show up when it goes live and it's not in the first page or two. Yeah, you're not checking just once. You're checking like over a month period. Oh, okay. So like if you want to check daily, if you want to check weekly, if you want to check like twice a month, like that's up to you to figure that out. But if you can't find your book and it's not selling, then don't make any more books. I'm not saying don't pull those books down. I'm just saying don't keep spending time in places that you're not having success. If you can't Over find your book, then period, not the next day or whatever. Okay. And this is where I would spend like a little bit more time and not just concentrate on the top 10. I mean, I would still like look and say, okay, monogram, journal, notepad, initial. Again, I'll take out four and, and women now because I'm actually going to be making a book geared towards somebody. I'll use the word women and also girls and floral. X is something I'm not, with is not, and pink. Like I would start just. Um, taking these keywords and I would almost just do this copy this because this is your sales copy and also like the keywords that you're going to be using in your back end these are like back end back end keywords and possibly to make your title Ooh. <laughs> um, these are the sizes so six by nine eight and a half by eleven you don't really have to consider yourself with those but C monogram initial notebook women pink floral executive style letter journal men's you can leave all that stuff in there you can either try to stuff all of these in your back end keywords or then more tactfully go oh i want to use c monogram and just like that person had all those uh keywords in there switch it up a little bit and see how to stack the back end keywords but that's like another process like how to use these keywords is another whole thing yeah, yeah. but these keywords should go in your back end keyword Okay. And then looking at this and knowing that these are the most used words by your competitors, these should be what's in your title or subtitle. So if you want the title to only be C, because that's the only thing you want on the book, then make like monogram, journal, note, initial, women's letter, girls. And that's when I put in subtitle. Yeah. But if you're going to use floral, like I said, like make that. The, on the cover. Yeah. But you said you cannot. If so now since I have a book up there that C, I can't change the title. Mm -mm. So I have to make a whole nother book. Yeah. But it, can it be like the almost same? Almost the same, yeah. Almost the same. Okay. All right. Great. Lots to think about. Thank you. <laughs>